Hey everybody, welcome back to Pandinga. <laughs> One Day Gaga, <laughs> Pandemic Gaga's cooking show. <laughs> I love you guys. Today we're going we are going to uh, fix strawberries so that we can make a strawberry shortcake later. And um, I have already run my strawberries through a bath. Um, put some cold water in your sink and put your strawberries in there and just shake them around real good and then rub around on them a little bit. Careful, you don't want to bruise them. But uh, do that, stick them in your strainer and, um, and then you're ready to cap them. So I'm going to set this right <laughs> right here on my counter. You're at my sink today. And uh, I'm going to, all you need for this <laughs> is a knife. That's all you need is your little paring knife. And this is the cap of the strawberry right here. Isn't that cute? It's its little crown. Now you don't have to be perfect. Some people like to twist them out. That's fine. Me, I don't want to run around there trying to get all those dudes. I'll just take my knife and just kind of cut. Cut it off. See that little piece of its crown? Little leaf looking thing? Don't worry about it right now, okay? Because now, as soon as I take that cap off, I'm going to cut it. According to how big they are, uh, these are huge. Some of them I just cut in half if they're small. Some of them I'll cut in uh, force. Have a sink, a, a clean sink of water, cold water, and just drop them in there. As you go, see that little hard part right there? You don't want that. Cut that off. Get that out of here. And then here we go. Half and force. This is going to be a quick thing. Just have to do it. Yes, your hands may get um, a little on the red side, but it's okay. Sometimes, see that one was really huge. I just went and cut them that way. Cut it this way. Cut the top off. Slice in the middle. Turn it. Slice down there. And if you look at one, say, you're too big. Cut it in half. It's okay. It won't hurt the strawberry. And your strawberries will get more juicy. We're going to do this for a few minutes and get all these done. I could have had them done before you got to my house. But I'm talking to primarily new cooks. Or let me put it this way. Cooks that are just beginning, I don't want to leave them out uh, at all. And so I don't want to jump simple steps that people who have cooked for a long time just think, well, everybody would do that. You know, to clean strawberries and cut them. I, I just don't want to assume stuff like that. So I'm not. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you've been having a good time. And enjoying life. I hope you've been doing for some of your friends. Making them feel appreciated. You know what? I was going to tell y'all. This morning, I was sitting, looking out my bedroom window. Oh, that's a big strawberry. These are really bigger than I like. But we were hungry for strawberries. And so I grabbed some at the store. Ours are about ready, but we're getting a lot of rain, and I think the sun is going to have to come out for a day or two before, the, before they can get in the fields and get them. But they'll be out soon. I can't wait. <laughs> so we're going to do this. And these came from California, so they are, ah, dropped it. They are, um, 
Maybe they'll be good. We'll see. We'll take a bite in a minute. But anyway, I was sitting in my bedroom and looking out the window. And this little bird was sitting on the ground. And it was very, it's very windy here today. And bless that little bird's heart. I don't know what kind of bird it was. It was just a bird. And he tried four times and failed three of them. He failed three times getting in flight. He would get off, he'd flap those little wings and get off the ground about more, no more than six inches. And then he had to sit back down because he was worn out because he could not, could not get enough undercurrent under his little wings to take off. He didn't give up, but he had to rest between. And finally, on the fourth try, I felt so sorry for him. I wanted to pick him up, just like throw him in the air and see if he could catch, catch a breeze and take off good. But he got uh, airborne after the, on the fourth try. So proud of him. I was so excited. <laughs> he probably didn't think a thing about it. But that got to me thinking. Look, y'all, see that little white part? That's on the bottom of the strawberry. You don't want that. Cut that off. I got thinking about that. And it's like um, the Holy Spirit just impressed on my spirit that we're like that. If we're not careful, we will be just like that. Because, you know, um, we all have a birthday. The day we came out of our mother's womb. We all have one of those. We have that in common. And then those of us who have chosen by free will to accept Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as ours and to follow him and become his children, we have a second birth. It's a spiritual birth. And um, we have a, a moment in time when that happens. Most people, I won't say most people, many people remember the exact date. You know, they pretty much remember the time, and that's awesome. Some people our, are like me. I remember the moment it happened, and I remember that it was in January. But I was a young child. I was, I can't ever remember if I was 9 or 10, because kids don't think about dates that much. It's pro I'm sure it's written in my mom's Bible, but I'm not sure. So, um, so we have, as children of God, we have two birth dates. Two. And then I got, and I was thinking about that little bird. And it's like the Lord said, you know, some, here's some Christians. They are born. And they truly are born again, as we would say, those who have followed Christ. And maybe it's been, oh man, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. And you come across them. And you see, um, they haven't done much in their life. When it comes to Christianity, they've been good. Pretty good struggle. But it's not, they haven't got deeper in their walk with Christ, and it shows. And I uh, was thinking about that, and it's like, it's like that bird. They couldn't get any wind up on, they didn't get any wind up under their wings, so they couldn't get off the ground. They didn't get off the ground. And I'm like, well, now why is it that some people, when they are born again, you can come back and see them 10, 15, 20 
years later, and you, it's obvious that they are deeper, wiser, they know their Bible, um, and then others don't, aren't. And I thought, why is that? And the Lord just kind of, you know, I was thinking about that, and I come to the conclusion that maybe it's because of the bird. They cannot get the wind, the wind under their wings to take flight. And then it's like, well, how do they do that? And then it hit me. When we do not have, as Christians, enough wind under our wings, it is because we are not doing, actively doing, what God intended for us to do. We are not studying the scripture, not, um, you know, often, might read it occasionally. If we want wind beneath our wings, as a Christian, we're going to have to put forth some effort like that little bird did. He flapped those wings like crazy. He flapped those wings like crazy. And it took him a while, but he took off. He's in the air. He is soaring with the wind. So if you feel like, or if I feel like, I'm just not getting, I'm going to throw this in the trash can. I'm not getting anywhere. Or if you see somebody, you know, somebody you know, well, give me the word judge. But we can tell. We can tell if the person's grown. It shows. <laughs> Maybe we should say that. It shows on all of us how our Christian walk is doing. And we've got to study the scriptures. And we've got to shake these strawberries around in this cold, cold water to get all the ex any other dirt and leaves that are there off. And then pick them up like this, and I shake them out, and I put them in your colander, and that's what I'm doing here. And I'm going to sit this in my other sink. And I'm going to let that water drip off of them. But in order to get some wind beneath our wings, our wings, our wings, we're gonna have to put forth some effort. We're gonna have to put forth some study time, some reading time, some prayer time. We're gonna have to not read it and just walk away. We're gonna have to think about it. We're gonna have to do for others. It needs to change our whole life. And as it does that, because that's what it's meant to do, he saves us from glory to glory to glory. As we do that, we become stronger. Our wings become stronger. And we can take flight. Have you fallen lately? Have you been the feet of hands uh, feet and hands of Jesus for somebody else somebody that cannot return it in any way form or fashion have you done that have you ever done that is that part of you is that part of you we all have different ways of doing things for people I'm not talking about how you do it or when you do it do you do it you know yours might be baking bread or baking a cake or taking leftovers to somebody or, you know, visiting people in their house or at the hospital or whatever. I mean, we could name gazillions of way, you know, go on mission trips, go on in-state mission trips, um, see a family that you've noticed that over time you've noticed that they just don't have much Maybe the daddy's gone or there's a sickness in the family. And it's hard on them. 
if you left them a loaf of bread on their porch or a gallon of milk without getting a thank you, without getting anything in return. Have you? Go do it. It's how we learn and we grow in Jesus Christ. Many ways, many ways, reading, writing, singing, praising, worshiping, whatever. I'm going to get a bowl. Mm -hmm. I've got a bowl here. Now I'm going to dump some strawberries in there. And bowl to strawberry ratio. <laughs> Leave you enough room in your bowl that you can stir, okay? Then you can add the rest of them in a little while. Now, you are more than welcome, and it's healthier, if you will take these strawberries right here and eat them. Put them on your shortcake. Uh-oh. Put them on your shortcake and have... Little strawberry shortcake and it'll be just fine. But if you want some juice like your grandmother used to have, then you're gonna have to get some sugar. Sorry. And you're gonna have to get some sugar. And I cannot tell you exactly how much sugar to get. Because I don't know. And it will be all to the tasting of your family. So I've got a half a cup dewy here that I'm gonna dip it out with. So I'm not going to slam it all in there. But I'm just going to take this and just sprinkle it on top. I didn't use it all. Grab a big spoon. Ooh, a big spoon. See that sugar? I'm going to stir it around. Get it all mixed in there. Works on all the strawberries. They start shining from the sugar. Turn in liquidy. I'm gonna get the rest of my strawberries now. Add them in there. Cause I have room for them now. If I had put all of them in there because of the size of this bowl, I would have flopped those dudes out all over the place. And I may, <laughs> I may do it anyway. We're gonna mix these up. Now then. If you will just take these strawberries and set them in the fridge, you could put a, a, a cop on, what do you call it, saran wrap or something on, or foil or whatever you want to, or just not. I don't care what you do. But if you'll let that sit, the longer it sits, and it may take, I mean, you can eat them right now. They're all sugary. Now, if you want that juice to start coming out, you let them sit for a while, maybe several hours. Tomorrow, there'd be a whole lot, quite a bit of uh, uh, strawberry juice. And then you put that over your shortcake or whatever you're going to use. I'm going to use my grandmother's uh, sponge cake recipe. That will be so stinking good. And that's the way your grandma would have done it. That's the way your grandma would have done it. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> hey, guys. Y'all have a good day. Stick these in your fridge. Not mine. Get your own. Stick it in the fridge and this evening or tomorrow. Eat them. Make you a strawberry shortcake and it will be good. Okay? I love you. You have a good day. Thank you for coming and standing in my kitchen with me. And we will see you soon. Bye.